It's time now for our Sunday specials. For Lagos, a bad on train passengers to enjoy the facility for a long time. Some travelers are asking the operators of the Nigerian Railway Corporation to train the staff on a regular basis. The move is expected to ensure passenger comfort, safety and security while on board. Lillian Isamark reports in the first of our Sunday specials. Passengers preparing to catch a train to Ibadan. This is Mobolaji Johnson Standard Gauge Rail Station, where services such as ticketing, passenger processing, and boarding of the train take place. Unlike some weeks ago, such activities took place at the narrow gauge station. A passenger, Deji Bademosi, who's also a journalist, is traveling to Ibadan by rail for the first time. He told me he has heard and read so much about the modernized train services, so we'll be comparing what he heard with reality. He buys his ticket at the counter. He seems excited about the facility, so he is keeping the memory alive by taking pictures. Just like the airport, the rail transport has facilities such as body and baggage scanners, elevators and escalators for passengers' comfort. Mr. Bademosi joins the escalator, which takes him to the waiting lounge. Next, he goes through security and ticket checks before boarding. Passengers are allowed light handheld luggage kept at the overhead racks. Mr. Bademosi settles in and waits for departure. The train left some passengers behind in Lagos for failing to keep the rules guiding the ride. They had heavy baggages. In a, in a rail system, we have minimum you can take, just like you have on the plane, as handheld. Whereas uh, 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 the big bags should go to the parcel office, they, they take the weight, charge them, and they will collect either on arrival of the train or they can collect some days after. So we need to put them in the parcel, uh, uh, what we call the parcel van, and deliver depending on how heavy. For the rail district manager, the standard gauge rail services are meant to change travel narrative in Nigeria. There will be four trains from Lagos and four trains from Ibadan. Again, by the end of the year, because I know you're going to ask me, two, eight trips. And that will be what? 16 trips a day. At that stage, we're looking at what? An hourly train. With restrooms, information board, onboard entertainment, the first time passengers say there's still room for improvement. You go to a toilet, you need to use it and keep it clean for the next fellow to use. If you sit on a chair, you need to make sure that you're not rocking the chair and breaking the parts. Also, the cleaners need to do a good job. At the start of the trip, mid-section on the trip, if there's a bit of a delay or an interchange, and where the train terminates, it should be a continuous uh, cleaning process. It's a bit cold, you know, so, well, maybe because there are not so many people on the train, but then again, you know, it's, uh, it's a train, so it could be regulated. Uh, it's clean, it's neat, uh, the ambience is nice, so far it's smooth, it's moving at an okay pace. With my experience, I've resolved to bring my wife and maybe one or two friends, so that we just experience this again by going to Ibadan. I hope uh, the Nigerian government can maintain it this way. You know, I think it is fantastic. And I love the fact that they keep to time too. At Ibadan, Mr. Bademosi shares his experience on the ride. At some point, it was just too cold in there. Too, too cold. And uh, I think the AC had to be adjusted and then uh, the, the temperature came down. And um, But very smooth experience. Uh, maybe they would do better, for instance, to, to have, uh, say, local movies, you know, Nollywood. 
instead of foreign uh, movies there. I only just hope we're able to maintain, to maintain and keep the standard because that, that's, that's where the problem is. The train service has taken stress off the roads, but the passengers hope the corporation sticks to scheduled maintenance of the facility. For the managing director, the Badon Kano project will connect Tinkan Island port and West East Coastal Rail Line from Lagos to Calabar, linking Onisha, Benin, Wari, Yenegua, Port Harcourt, Aba, and Uyo. It is expected to promote economic boom through employment, business opportunities, and wealth creation. Lillian Ezemark, TVC News Lagos.